stars. It has been said that there are more stars in the heavens than there are grains of sand on our beaches. They are everywhere, perhaps more infinite than our own imaginations. As you look up into the sky from our own planet Earth, you can see them shining down on our planet. From this vantage point, you can see some of the great constellations amongst our stars. These stars are combined into a collection that we call the Milky Way Galaxy. Though there are many stars beyond our own galaxy which are visible from our planet, the stars closest to us are the most visible in our sky. Given the correct exposure, we might even be able to see more stars. And with a little more depth, we could see more than just stars. Our galaxy is so complex that even the greatest part of our understanding is only the smallest part of what is actually out there. Taking a good look, we only grasp the smallest portion of its existence. So then one might ask, what else is there? What else is beyond our own border? In reality, it would take more than a lifetime to possibly understand the whole of it. And in such an event, it might be better if we were to leave our own atmosphere to take a better look of what else could be out there. And what better way to understand our own universe, galaxy, and our own beautiful night sky. At this moment, we are beginning to leave our own atmosphere. This is our planet Earth. As it continues to rotate on its axes, we can see the sunlight creeping towards us. The sunlight is possible because of our own star which is in this galaxy. This star is our sun, and it shines upon our Earth, giving it light and the ability to endure life. Without it, it would not be possible for even ourselves to exist. And now, looking beyond our own planet, beyond our own sun, and beyond our own solar system, we can get the opportunity to see a greater part of our own galaxy. Looking beyond our own atmosphere, we can see the stars in our own heavens. These are our stars. To better understand them, let us travel through space, so that we may be able to take a closer look at them. Here we have arrived at a different solar system within our galaxy. Though it does not look like much, it is actually quite different from our very own solar system. This is the atmosphere of a different planet. Full of different gases, it can hardly support life. Though, taking a closer look, we can see that there appears to be amounts of water upon its surface, which in itself is rather low. Now we travel to one of its moons, where we can look back on the planet of which we were just on. This moon is covered in ice. It is very cold and definitely cannot support life, but gives us the opportunity to see a rather beautiful environment. Traveling closer to the sun, we have found a planet that is very hot. But luckily, we do not have to live here as we are only visiting. 
Moving a little further out, we find an asteroid field located near one of the outer planets. These asteroids are mere rock and ice floating in and throughout space. Though this may be a beautiful formation, every now and then, one of these asteroids leaves the formation. A big rock flying through space can be the cause of great cataclysmic destruction. But worse than a big rock is that of another body, entity, planet, or moon that leaves its formation and rotation towards another planet. Though these are not usually the most destructive forces within our galaxy. Looking towards the center, past the clouds of dust, we can see the beginnings of a black hole. Black holes are so powerful that nothing can escape it, not even light. If a planet is so unfortunate to wander closely, even it can be sucked in. It is lucky for us that these black holes are located at very long distances from us. And now, having seen a few splendors of our galaxy, we travel at great speed, passing numerous planets, stars, asteroids, clouds of dust, and nebulas. We find ourselves nearing the borders of our own home within our own solar system. This again is our Earth. Not having changed much, it is still in a great position to be able to see many of the great stars and wonders from which we have just returned. Taking a small moment to pause, turn ourselves around, and look back at our own night sky, we can see the great formations of all those stars that make up our beautiful universe.